you just found out that you are living next to an Airbnb and you're freaking out a little bit, but let me give you some peace of mind. Today I'm gonna share the eight reasons why it's better to live next to an Airbnb than it is a regular tenant. Here on the Fearless Investor channel, make sure that you're commenting down below. I bet you got some stories for me. So when I was first getting started in Airbnb, I was knocking on all my neighbors' doors and I was letting them know, hey, we do short-term rentals. And about the first 50 neighbors that I knocked on the doors, they were all really appreciative and they, of course, were very happy that I gave my number out. But then there was this one neighbor. Uh, I think everyone's got that one neighbor. And man, they were upset that we were doing an Airbnb. But I was able to kind of let them know, hey, here's all the advantages. And long story short, the pandemic happened, we had to take it off of Airbnb, and we had to do a month-to-month -month rental. That's when all of the issues started happening. We had one person who lived there that actually had a domestic violence situation. I remember that neighbor coming out, cursing at me, and I said, guess what? This is not an Airbnb guest. And he just about dropped his jaw, and at that moment you could tell he realized that it was better to live in an Airbnb or next to an Airbnb than it was to a regular tenant. And so here are the eight reasons why it's better to live next to an Airbnb than a regular tenant. Number one, I'm telling you, you will find this out living next to them or even hosting yourself. 99.9% .9 of Airbnb guests are just high quality people looking for a place to have a really relaxing stay. You gotta remember, the guest is being rated and judged just like you are as a host. So if I wanna go and stay at another Airbnb again, or if I want to be able to continue to travel without having to worry about a ding on my profile, I wanna give that Airbnb host something that they enjoy as well, so I'll get that five-star review. Just like if you were to go into an Uber or a Lyft, you don't wanna piss off that Uber or Lyft driver. Well, we don't wanna, as guests, piss off the Airbnb host, give us a one-star rating, and then we never get to stay there again. Number two is traveling professionals. These are types of people like nurses, doctors, uh, maybe even business owners that are visiting, and they really just need a place to put their heads. When you get a traveling professional, they're gone from the Airbnb probably 18 to 20 hours a day anyway, and you don't even know that someone's living next to you. Then by the time they're sleeping, so is everyone else, and it's like, holy cow, I didn't even know that someone was even there for the last seven days. Number three, you're not living next to an annoying neighbor. Kindly ho, neighborinos. I'm sure we've all had these neighbors where every single time we walk out to our lawn, we get approached by them and they wanna bring up something or they wanna say something, they wanna steal 10 minutes of our time and talk about their cats. And so that's the great thing about an Airbnb. These people are coming in and they're looking for privacy. They're not booking a hotel where they're sharing walls. And so for that exact reason, they're looking to be able to get their own quarters. They're not gonna knock on your doors. They're not going to go and talk to you. They're not going to bring up anything. They're literally just going to stay in their space and respect yours. The fourth reason why you're gonna love living next to an Airbnb is that the lawn is gonna look great. Every single time a guest comes in, what's the first thing they see about an Airbnb? The front of the house. And if that lawn is overgrown, if there's tons of weeds, if the front of the house has any sort of, you know, poor looking paint or bad dings on it, that is a poor reflection on that host and it's going to hurt them and so they're gonna to wanna to get those things changed right away. So you get to come into a neighborhood, see that house and notice that it's in pristine condition. Which leads me to the fifth reason of why you're gonna love living next to an Airbnb. If it looks great, then your home value is going to go up as well. Typically, if you're in a neighborhood where there's a lot of overgrown lawns or a lot of issues with the houses surrounding, it will mean that your house is either not gonna sell in a timely manner or it might get reduced a little bit in terms of its home value. So when you are next to an Airbnb that's really well taken care of, then if you wanna sell your house, the value could go up. Number six, we have short-term problems because it's a short-term rental. Think about maybe a, a situation, maybe you lived in an apartment, maybe you lived in a neighborhood and there was that one house that was always causing issues, whether it was you know, domestic situations or parties or lots of cars always being parked out front. Well, you have to deal with that because they either own the house or they're renting for a long time, at least a year, right? Well, with Airbnb, if you have any sort of issue, if it's even one night of an issue, get that host phone number, call them, let them know what's happening, and if they care about you and they care about the situation going on, they're gonna resolve it right away. 
Which leads me to my next point, you're living next to a business rather than a residential neighbor. So when you live next to a business, what do you get as an advantage? Well, you get to call a customer service number, which is likely that host phone number, and you get to address a situation. You get to let them know about an issue. You get to raise a concern. And if they are as good of a host as they should be, because all Airbnb hosts are being taught and trained on how to be great hosts, then they should be helping you to make sure that your concerns are met as long as they're reasonable. And lastly, I think this one's really cool. I don't know if anyone's actually done this, but if you have a kid, call it a eight year old all the way to an 18 year old, why not give them a job at that Airbnb right next door? These Airbnb hosts are always looking for help, whether it's cleaning or changing a light bulb or going and replacing a shower curtain and doing some extra laundry. I mean, it's, it's things like that all the time that these hosts, maybe they have a full-time job, maybe they have a staff, and these little things get missed. What a great opportunity to be able to get your teenage kid to make a little bit of extra money and take out the trash to the curb every week for $10. This is a great way to me, I mean, if I live next to an Airbnb, once I have a kid, I'll probably knock on that neighbor's door and, and talk to that host and tell them, hey, I know you have a trash issue, why don't you pay my kid $10, give them a little bit of responsibility, teach them how to be able to start doing something that gives them a sense of ownership and responsibility as well. These have been the eight ways of why I think Airbnb is better than living next to a long-term tenant. I would love to know what you think though. Did I miss anything or do you completely disagree with any of the things that I just mentioned? Go ahead and comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed and you wanna keep on learning on this channel, make sure to do that. Hit the notification bell and you'll get alerted when that next video drops.